Okay, this video is what is the best position for sleeping? So always imagine that the patient is facing towards you with their feet pointing towards you, okay? So this is the esophagus. When we eat, food comes down through the esophagus into the stomach. And then the stomach drains out to the right side. It always does that. I have seen many thousands, tens of thousands of these. It always does that, okay? And that's relevant. So it's going to drain towards your right. That's why you want to lay with your right side down, okay? I'll show the next picture. It'll continue to make more sense. So here's the patient tipped to their side in the right lateral decubitus position. So that way the stomach drains down. So I always, no exceptions, I always lay down right side down when I first lay down to sleep. It's always that way. And there's actually two other good reasons as well, but this is the most important reason. Because that way your stomach drains out, so you're less likely to reflux food upward into your esophagus. That can cause a heartburn sensation, gastroesophageal reflux called GERD, G-E-R-D. That can cause inflammation in your esophagus and lead to other problems, okay? So you lay right side down, helps your stomach drain out. It works, all right? The next thing is, Here's a look at a chest x-ray. And when you look at a chest x-ray, what you can see is the left side of the heart, the left ventricular apex, is much closer to the left chest wall than is the right cardiac border. So what this means is you're much more likely to feel your heartbeat when you're laying on your left side down because you'll sometimes you'll just feel your heartbeat towards your left chest. You just do. Not everybody does, but you're more likely to feel it, especially if you're anxious or whatever, but still you're gonna feel it more on your left side. So, you know, you can angle the way you lay down a little bit, but just in general, it's much easier to lay on your right side. I never feel my heartbeat when I'm laying on my right side down. So that's better, okay? So those are the two most important reasons. The way the heart is located, this is normal cardiac anatomy, um, and the way the stomach drains out, okay? Now there's a third reason. This one's less important, but it's a little bit interesting. So this is the brain. Again, with all CAT scans, MRIs, ultrasound, x-rays, all imaging, it's always as if the patient's feet were towards you. So if you imagine you're looking at a patient, you walk into the room, this would be their right foot towards you, their left foot would be towards you over here. So here's a cross-sectional image of the brain. It's called an axial section or a transverse section. And what we're looking at right here is the right transverse sinus. That's the name in the brain. The, the big veins are called sinuses. And here's the left transverse sinus. And this is how it looks most of the time. So normal variation is that most of the time the right transverse sinus vein is a little bit bigger than the left transverse sinus. And then also the right sigmoid sinus vein going into the right jugular uh, vein. This is like the jugular bulb region right here. It's bigger on the right side. So what does that mean? Well, when you lay right side down, that facilitates venous drainage out through the right side of the brain. And I've seen papers in the past and animal studies and, and some in humans too that we tend to clear our glymphatic system a little bit better with right side down. I don't know how useful that is, but it's just another thing to be aware of. So the glymphatic system is what cleans your brain at night. Gl, GL for glial, the supporting cells of the brain, the mama cells to the neurons being the, the baby cells, the kid cells, if you will. And uh, lymphatic mean that there are lymphatics on the outer surface of the brain, and the meninges. They're not located you know, deep in the brain, in the brain parenchyma. The brain is unique in not having lymphatics within the parenchyma. But on the outer surface of the brain, there are lymphatics. So at night, what happens is while we sleep, our cerebral spinal fluid rinses over our neurons. Basically, you open up something called the perivascular spaces of Virchow Robin, okay? And you rinse the neurons with CSF. And they're like Victorian England with their chamber pots on the second floor, and they dump them out in the street, so to speak. The neurons will pump out their waste products at night. The reason is they can't do it in the daytime because you have to maintain a precise uh, milieu, microenvironment around the neurons in order for them to function effectively, to be able to maintain their ionic gradients and fire their action potentials in timely fashion. So the brain cannot uh, go offline while you're awake. It has to be remain alert, okay? But at night, it can go offline, and the CSF spaces around the neurons is opened up. That's called the perivascular space of Virchow Robin. Cerebral spinal fluid is rinsed over the neurons. They pump out their waste products. It's rinsed towards the venous side, and then some of the fluid is resorbed through the what are called the arachnoid granulations in the, uh, in the venous sinuses of the brain, like the superior sagittal sinus, but also along the cranial nerves and peripheral nerves as well. And uh, some of it's absorbed in the capillary region. Uh, but I'm just letting you know some of it then gets back into the veins 
and you just clear things a little bit better if you're right side down. That is a thought. Here is a magnetic resonance venogram, just what it looks like typically. I, by the way, I, I've looked at it, again, tens of thousands of these things. This is pretty typical anatomy that it's bigger, the transverse sinus. Again, imagine the patient's feet are facing towards you. This is the right side, here's the left side. So this would be typical anatomy. The right transverse sinus is a little bit bigger than the left transverse sinus. The right sigmoid sinus, a little bigger than the left sigmoid sinus. And the jugular bulb, a little bigger on the right than on the left. That's just normal variation, that's how it is. So there's three reasons why it's best to lay down on your right side. And the most important one is your stomach drains out that way, so you're less likely to get gastroesophageal reflux. So anyways, hope that was helpful.